Hey guys, Stay Patient here, and today I'm bringing you a really useful glitch for Bioshock Infinite. This is one that was found a few years ago when the game released on the previous generation, and I just want to show you that it's still working on PS4 and I assume Xbox One as well. This glitch is going to give you access to infinite pieces of gear, infinite lockpicks and infinite money, and you can run this for as long as you like to build up as much as you want. So we're going to start off here at the Hall of Heroes and we've literally just picked up our Shock Jockey uh, Plasmid or Vigor, sorry. <laughs> and that's where we are in the story. We're going to come out via this salt machine here. We're going to fill up our salt so that we can use possession on the vending machines because that's how we're going to be building up our money. Now in this section, there is a lockpick and a piece of gear that will respawn every time we re-enter the door that we're just going through now. So every time we go back to the Hall of Heroes, things seem to reset themselves, which they don't, you know, they're not supposed to do. They don't do that in other areas. So this is the only place you can do this. Now we're gonna start off by possessing this vending machine here. And of course, if you're not worried about building up money, you don't have to possess the vending machines. You can just run right the way through all the way to the piece of gear and then back again. But I'm going to show you where there is a lockpick that re, uh, sort of respawns, sorry. We're going to jump down here and just below the stairs is this lockpick. Now remember that one because when we come back again, you'll see that it's returned. It's there again, which it shouldn't be. But uh, <laughs> obviously they don't deem it worthy of a patch. I don't think they ever fixed it on PS3 even. So I doubt they'll fix it on here on the PS4. Um, pressing the wrong button. There we go. Um, now we're going to run at the right hand side of this area because there's a bunch of enemies here and quite often they won't see you until the last minute if you run up the right hand side. Now if you're doing this on the 1999 difficulty then obviously those enemies will do a lot of damage to you as will this Patriot here. So we're just going to duck into the lift. So you may want to deal with the enemies. You know if they're if they're doing a lot of damage to you you may want to take your time take out the enemies because this is particularly helpful on 1999 mode. Now we're going to possess this machine here and there's one more around the corner. Now there are plenty of other vending machines in the section that we ran through. So if you are doing this on 1999 mode and you're clearing out the enemies, then you can spend a bit of time there sort of possessing those machines and getting even more money. So from here, we're going to keep running and we're going to go to the toys, uh, toy soldiers store. Um, I guess it's a toy store anyway. <laughs> we're going to open this up. And uh, I must apologize for my voice, by the way. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I'm probably sounding a bit groggy. Trying to stop myself from coughing. Uh, but we're going to switch to our electricity, what's it called? Shock jockey um, vigor and we're gonna use it to open this door here. And this is where the gift is. Now I seem to remember on PS3, I seem to remember there being a lockpick in this room as well, but I don't think there is on PS4. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. But there we go, we've got a new hat and it's electric touch. So 50% chance that a melee target is stunned, victim is vulnerable for three seconds. Okay, that's cool. So now we are going to just have a look around. You can loot all of these boxes if you like. In fact, I'm going to check. This is one thing I haven't checked yet. I'm going to loot all of these boxes or all of these desks. Excuse me, Elizabeth. And then on the way back, I'm going to check and see if they are lootable again, because if they are, then obviously we're going to be able to build up even more money. Um, but we're going to lift up the gate again, make our way out. And that's basically the route we're going to take. But now we have to make our way back because to make this glitch possible, we need to go back to the Hall of Heroes because it's that particular door that seems to reset all of the loot and well, not all of the loot, but, you know, lots of the uh, useful items in this area. So as you can see, if I try and uh, possess this one again, I've already done it. No money comes out and it still appears green because it's still technically possessed. So the same with this one here. Now, when we make our way back up, the enemies are still going to be there. Um, in fact, at the very start of this run, when we, uh, when we exited the very first door, um, in fact, 
the Patriot isn't going to be here, but all the others will. But yeah, like I was saying, when we left the first door right at the beginning of this video, the first time you exit out of that door, there will be a bunch of enemies there. And just to point out that there is some more, you know, vending machines, you can grab these. I'm not going to do them now, but if you want to clear out the enemies, I think there's another one or two around this area somewhere. So if you want to find them and sort of farm them every time as well, that's fine. But we're going to make our way back up. And like I said, right at the top in the very first area, there will be some enemies the very first time you come out. There will be a lot of enemies and you can snipe them or you can... Oh, trying to get off here. Um, didn't seem to want to let me. Yeah, it's a great place for farming kills with the Mosquito as well, which will work towards the trophy that involves getting kills with allies brought in by Tears. So when you first come out of there, you'll be able to hack that one or, or tear it, sorry, um, and get some kills with that. But anyway, we're back to this area and we're going to make our way through the Hall of Heroes door. And the great thing about this as well is that you'll be able to fill up your salt again. So if we make our way through and we trigger the salt machine or the what's it called yeah salt machine <laughs> use that again it will fill up our salt and that's how we go about getting infinite money because that means we can keep on hacking or keep on um, possessing these vending machines and obviously the only downside of that is that it uses a lot of salt but because we can fill it up each time at the start of the run we can make sure to not have to buy any salt or you know not um, not find ourselves running low but here we are now this shouldn't be possessable again it should still be possessed from last time but it's not so we can grab all that money again and it gives you a decent amount you know 20 30 coins or whatever um, and we're going to keep going down now the next thing to grab is the lock pick again now of course this is the run that will be proving to you guys that the glitch works because this lock pick we've already grabbed but we're going to pick it up again and you can do that every single time you run through this area. Now we're going to keep going down once more. And again, this area you might want to clear out if you are on a higher difficulty. If you do clear it out once, the enemies will be back. Uh, here they are. Now, if I was to kill all these now and clear out the area, you know, hacking or possessing all of the vending machines and everything, then in much the same way as the vending machines reset, these enemies reset as well. So it doesn't matter how many times you kill them, if you go through the door back into the Hall of Heroes, then they will be back, as will this Patriot guy. I forget his proper name. Um, oh, no, I keep pressing the wrong button for aim. Anyway, <laughs> he's called a mechanized Patriot, something like that. Anyway, we're back into the lift. Let's make our way back up. Of course, I'm taking a bit longer doing this because I'm showing you and explaining it all. But if you're just going for the, um, you know, the gear, which is usually what I do, because I think you find plenty of money during the game anyway. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. Um, you do find plenty of money as you're making your way through the game. So I don't really bother hacking. Well, I suppose sometimes I will. Um, because it's nice and quick and easy anyway. I'm getting a bit confused here because Elizabeth's trying to throw me some money. <laughs> but the icon kept disappearing. Anyway, as I was saying, you can, there it is, you can just run right the way through. You don't have to grab the lockpick, you don't have to possess all the machines. If you want to just grab all of the gear in the game, you can just blitz your way right the way through, run past all the enemies and come back to this room. And this is kind of the moment of truth because this will show you guys that oh, almost didn't work. I just missed. Um, this will show you guys, first of all, it's quite interesting to see that we can loot these desks again. So if they have money in them, that's even more money we can grab. And the gift is here again. So we've already grabbed it and we've now got throttle control. So if we have a look at our collection of gear, where is it? Um, there we go. Now you'll notice that, uh, oh no, I'm on the wrong screen. I do apologize. We got the electric punch, I think it was last time. No, electric touch, there it is. 
50% chance that a melee target is stunned, victim is vulnerable for 3 seconds, and we also got throttle control. So both of them are still in our inventory, and so you can farm this piece of gear as much as you like, and it's a great way of keeping on going because I don't believe you can ever get a duplicate. So if you keep doing it, then there's more and more chance of you getting the particular pieces of gear that you want because there are some that are really useful. The winter shield is awesome, and there's a whole load of other ones that I'm gonna outline in a different video. But there you have it, guys. Obviously, from here, you just do exactly the same. You'd run all the way back up to the Hall of Heroes, enter the door, refill your salts, and then make your way back through the area again, grabbing all the money, grabbing the lockpick, and this piece of gear. So I hope that's been helpful to you guys. A lot of you will already be aware of this method, but you might have been wondering if it was still functioning on PS4, and it totally is. Just to show you guys that we are on PS4, let's bring up our cross-media bar here, Bioshock the Collection. So there you go, uh, there you go, guys. Good news all round. I hope that's helpful to you, especially during your 1999 run, which isn't too difficult, but it is nice having decent pieces of gear to be able to play with, and it just makes the game more fun as well. Some people will complain that you're cheating, but to be honest, you're not really getting any advantage. You can still only equip four of the pieces of gear at once. And because the gear system is completely random, you could end up, you know, getting all the pieces you want from the four, the very first four pieces that you grab. Um, you could end up with all the best gear straight away. So farming this to get the best gear isn't really giving you any unfair advantage. It's just making the game more enjoyable because some of these pieces of clothing you know, have bonuses that really enhance the fun factor of this game, I find. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.